Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. I'm Nick Reeves, out of shot, and Ewan's here as well. In this video, we're looking at something that isn't new to the market as such, but it's one that I picked up uh, a little while ago. Um, like me, I, as I always can't refuse a bargain. This is the Flightline Supermarine Spitfire. Um, it's the 1600mm or 63 inch in old money span model. Um, electric foam warbird. Um, designed to fly on 6S. This model I saw advertised on uh, one of the Facebook groups here in the UK um, by a very reputable seller. And if you're watching this, Martin, thank you very much. Um, I'm not sure where these came from. They might have been um, new old stock, um, but this one, albeit the box is a bit worn, it is brand new in its box. Um, at the time of filming, these retail for around 400 pounds um maybe even a little bit more now i haven't checked recently um i picked this up for 300 um so let's get the lid off let's have a look at it see what we've got so first things first got a manual which i know for a fact it does detail everything that you need in here uh exact instructions on how to assemble it do's and don'ts um it's in looks like english and chinese or japanese or something like that so we've got one manual we've got a very good i can't take it out of here now but it's a very good sticker set as well i think there's two different versions you can do um, it gives you exact measurements again don't know how well you've ever see this it gives you exact measurements on where to place all the decals in millimeters from certain points um, so they should be good when they go on and then comes the fun bit we've got some uh, big foamy parts to play with all very well packaged all very well laid out in the box it's well. so that's what it's been thought out well. it has been thought out well yeah so this is the right hand wing panel um, it's in its protective bag just now but you've got all right, let's start the route. Okay, so you've got your wing joining tube, you've got servo leads coming out. You've got a very nice split flap. Which again, I don't know how well you've got to see through the bag, but I'll detail it as we're building it. All the servos are pre-installed. Electric retract units. You're going to have the cannon point at the front. Um, you've got ball links on the ailerons and on all the flaps. And I'm just feeling that through the bag, and that is so easy to move, so free. It's proper hinges in there. It's not these mylar hinges. Um, and then the other thing I've noticed as well, down here, it's got navigation tip lights. Which is pretty good, isn't it? So that's the one wing panel. I can put that neatly in the box over there, behind you. And then under here we've got another wing panel. So this is exactly the same, but for the other side. Um, for a foamy, I'm quite surprised how much weight there is in this. But I'm not surprised. In other ways, because of the structure that goes into them. What's that uh, that's part of the flap. So it's a split flap, as I said. That goes with it. Okay, so very nice scale split flaps. I don't know how well you'll be able to see in there, but you've got all the ribbing details as well. So that's all pretty good. Put that in the box carefully. Don't put them servo to servo, if you know what I mean. All right, and then what else have we got? As I said, the, the, I'm impressed with the packaging. It's all been, as you said, very well thought out as to what goes in where and how. Um, it'll probably never go back in here very well. Um, right, so, what to take out first? That, <laughs> sorry? What's that? That, that's two wing fairing fillets. So they're like two pieces that get glued on afterwards. afterwards. We have got in here a good size four blade spinner. Um, so it'll be a, a nice scale size four blade prop. I think it's an 18 inch prop on this from memory. Um, we've also got underwing radiators, oil coolers, radiators of some sort. Um, and you've got quite handy, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, arrows pointing for the arrow direction. But also, they're labelled left in this hand, right in this hand. We've got little marks that says R and L. 
so that's quite handy. We have Well, that's a radiator of some sort as well. That's an, under, that's an air scoop for the engine radiator, I believe. Um, so that'll get bolted on. In here, which has been taken out already, one tailplane, two part tailplane, so it slides apart, the fitting. That's all got a nice scale hinging, or scalish hinging. Proper hinges in there. Ball links as well. That's all very nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, what's in here? So there's some cannons and some other wing joining parts. Some hardware. Receiver? No, it's not a receiver. It's uh, they call it a blue box. It's like a junction box. So this is an uh, an like a distribution board for the wing so that when you join the wing to the fuselage when you're assembling it you've only got four connections to your receiver to plug in and then you've got something like eight wires in the wings to connect up so you don't have to do as many so that's all good and then the last but not least oh hold on what's in there yeah that's the spin of the prop blades Feather the way in there pretty heavy aren't they yeah. Now the good thing with this is you actually get five in this pack. Or now, break it. For when hopefully we don't break it, but yeah, if you happen to break a prop uh, or blade, you've got a spare blade. So for now they can go back in there. And then we've got this big lump here. Now I'm gonna take this out of the bag. It is a fair a fair lump. This is one very nice forward part of the fuselage. Um, you've got the servo elevator and rudder servos pre-installed. You've got the motor pre-installed. I can't actually remember what the spec of this motor is. But that's pre-installed and I believe you've got the ESC installed already. Yep, the ESC is already installed down there underneath the battery tray. Um, all really good quality. Nice airflow through there. Now the one thing you might have noticed is Ewan is playing with the other half of the fuselage. Or the tail end of it. So that will slide in. I can't, I can't see where it's going but it will go in there somewhere. Yeah. And then glue on. And then you've got a steerable tail wheel and rudder. Um, all freely moving. It's all quick, going to be quick assembly as well because it's just four bolts to, or four screws, shall I say, to hold the tailplane on. And this all gets, this part gets glued onto the tail end of the forward section. So yeah, that shouldn't take too long. Um, now the one thing that I haven't mentioned, which I'm going to leave in the box just now, so I know what it is. I think I'm going to slide out. Yeah, I'll leave it in the box. Just here, we've got a carbon wing joiner. Um, so yeah, very complete kit. Um, if you can call it a kit, it's a it's a foamy, it's a big foamy. I know they fly really well. I haven't flown one personally, but I have seen them flying, um, and they do fly really well. We're going to be using a five thousand, I think it's five thousand six S lipo in this. Um, so yeah, first impressions, really good. Um, quality's there. Uh, scale details are there. Looking at it, ease of build, really good. Um, but in the next part of this series, of putting this one together and flying it, um, we'll see about getting the tail end put on and making a start and getting it put together. So until then, catch you later. <laughs>